everyone welcome back to another pocket camp video so today I'll be showing you guys my updated campsite tour some people requested me to do more pocket camp videos so if you guys have any other suggestions of videos you'd like to see me make then please let me know in the comments so in the background of my campsite I have like all the flowers which you can buy with some leaf tickets I think it was but we'll have a look around. Um, in my garden, I'm currently still trying to grow as many pink flowers as possible to get all the rewards. And then along the bottom here, there's more of the flowers which I think look really pretty. So here is the first part of my camp. I have a little gaming corner over here. I got some of these with the fortune cookies, the Nintendo ones. So I have the 3DS here, also the Switch and the Wii U. I'm not sure if you can, oh yeah, you can click on that one. And then if you click on this, on the, um, 3DS it just closes it as well and then around the side here is a little board game and I think this kind of looks like Amiibo Festival and if you click it the die rolls there I also have a little ice cream cone lamp which I think is really cute and then the next bit of my campsite is like a little cute kind of cafe kind of uh, sit down area so in the background here I have one of the big uh, illuminated hearts which I think is really pretty and then I also have some of the uh, cupcakes from uh, Marshall's Cafe and then also the little ice cream stand. I then have two of the chairs with the light sticks and I also got the bare sofa here which I think is really cute but at the moment I only have uh, Wolfgang, Poppy and Naomi at my campsite because I'm trying to get as many modern essences as I can. And then onto the next part I have this little outdoor area so I really love the pond here. I think it looks really pretty and then there's also two of those new flower chairs from uh, one of the newer villages that was introduced and then around the side here is one of the modern amenities uh, let me have a look and see which one this one's called this is the honeycomb library so i think i have one more thing to upgrade and then i'll be able to build the modernist house which is the one that i want the most uh, for the other amenities i've maxed out most of them so i have the regal castle the noble carriage the elegant fountain those are all the elegant essences and then they have the harmonious ones. I still have to craft some of these ones here, but they take, I think, 72 hours. So I'm just kind of like waiting for a good time to upgrade them. I have some more of the other hip ones. And then there's the rustic uh, amenities there. And then some of the older ones, the cool set, the sporty, um, the cute. And then also the natural and the basic tent. So there is the little honeycomb library. And then if we go over here, we have the carousel. I've basically kept this one the same like the whole time I've had my campsite because it's my favorite amenity. So yeah, I'm probably gonna keep that there for quite a while unless I decide on a different theme. And now let's have a look at inside my camper. Okay, so here is the inside of my camper van. It hasn't really changed that much since I did my last campsite tour, but I did add this uh, little fish tank here which I think I might change and maybe add one of the new fish from the new fishing tourney that's going on at the moment. I also have my little laptop over there on the side. And uh, yeah, that's basically it that's for this little camper van. Let's go upstairs. So here is my upstairs room. It's basically just like a little lounge room and it's decorated mostly in pink. Uh, I have some of the magazines there. Those were from a fortune cookie, I think. And then I have uh, some of the villager pictures, some more flowers, and then this adorable little poodle lamp. And yeah, you can turn it on and off. And then there's also a little parrot in the background there. And then one of the pink handbags. So uh, let's go back outside. So since I like to change my campsite pretty regularly, I do post photos on my Twitter, but I thought I would also include some photos of my campsite over the last couple of months. So I'm just going to let this play for the rest of the video. Let me know which design was your favourite and what theme your campsite is at the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!